One of the major advantages of MapleSim is the ability to produce very concise models by applying the symbolic power of Maple to generate the equations of motion of very complex engineering systems. By simplifying these down to the essential set of equations, MapleSim produces models that can simulate in a fraction of the time it would take with tools that use purely iterative numeric approaches. Added to this, MapleSim's automatic code generation allows engineers to produce real-time executable models of systems of arbitrary topologies without sacrificing fidelity or resorting to predefined black box models to carry out their hardware in the loop testing. As a proof of concept, we developed this application to demonstrate the speed with which you can perform the complete model development to HIL process for a vehicle stability controller using MapleSim. The system includes a full chassis vehicle model, created in MapleSim, running in real-time on a National Instruments PXI platform, running LabVIEW real-time that is controlled by a host PC running LabVIEW. The stability controller is using a model predictive control strategy, running on a Mototron embedded controller, connected to the vehicle model via a CAN bus interface. The required stabilization torque from the controller is shown on an LED display. The process began with the development of a full chassis vehicle model in MapleSim. This is a detailed model that includes the geometries for a double wishbone suspension at the front and semi-trailing arms at the rear, with Fiala models for the tires. Once the vehicle model was developed, we then used the MapleSim LabVIEW connector to automatically convert the model to ANSI C code for implementation in LabVIEW. The Stability Controller, or Electronic Stability Program, ESP, is a predictive model based on a simplified vehicle model, referred to as the bicycle model, since it only uses one wheel at both the front and rear. When activated, the controller estimates what the desired yaw rate should be from the simple model, compares this with the actual yaw rate, and applies a braking force proportional to the difference to the appropriate front tire. The code for the ESP was also added as a code block in LabVIEW, Within LabVIEW, we were then able to assign the vehicle model to run on the PXI system and the ESP code to run on the Mototron controller. On the host system, we can control the simulation and observe the results from the model in real time. For the purpose of the demonstration, we can switch the controller off and on and then observe the difference in response to the steering maneuver by using real-time animations on the host screen.